What's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to install or update Kodi on your Fire TV without a computer. I've made a couple of these videos before, but every time there's a new discovery, so I figured I'd let you guys know what that is. For this tutorial, we're gonna be using an app called Downloader, which is completely free. Go ahead and search for it and download it. After you have installed the app, you need to go into your settings and look for developer options. This is gonna look different depending on what software version you are currently running. The idea is to enable apps from unknown sources. You can select turn on and we are now good to go. As I said before, this tutorial is for both installing and updating Kodi. So for that, we're gonna use Downloader. Go ahead and open it up. If you get this message, select okay. Now you want to scroll to the left and select browser. Select okay. Navigate to your URL bar right here and you want to clear everything except HTTP colon forward slash forward slash just like that. Now you want to type in Kodi.tv forward slash download just like you will see on the screen. At this point you can press the play and pause button to go to that URL and once you are here you can scroll down and look for the Android section. At the time of this video, you're gonna see current release 17.1 release candidate. Release candidate basically means it's still in testing phase. It's not the official release yet, but it's pretty stable enough for you to download it. If you don't want the release candidate, you can actually scroll down further and you'll see 17.0, but Eventually in the future, this is going to be the latest stable release, so you can go ahead and download it from there. Now under the Android section, you're going to see two options that say ARM. Those are the ones that are compatible with the Fire TV. Now you have ARM and ARM 64-bit. Basically, the one with 64-bit is only compatible with devices that are 64-bit. That would be the Fire TV with 4K. If you have any of the Fire Sticks or the first generation Fire TV, you need to just select ARM. The first one. I have the 4K Fire TV, so I'm going to go ahead and select ARM 64 bit. It's going to go ahead and download. Once it downloads, it's going to automatically ask you if you want to install this. If you already have Kodi installed, you're going to see a message saying, Do you want to install an update to this existing application? In which case, you just select install. If you are installing Kodi for the first time, you might get a slightly different message, but the instructions are still the same. It's going to go ahead and install, and you should be good to go. If you get any error messages, that might be because you did not enable apps from unknown sources. All right, once you get app installed, you can either select done or open the app. I'm going to select done so I can go ahead and show you this right here. You can either delete the app or select done. I'm going to go ahead and delete the downloaded file. All right, and from here, I'm just going to hit the home button and show you guys that I have updated my Kodi. So as you can see under version, I am running 17.1 RC1. And if you check inside Kodi, you will see that all my add-ons are still there. At this point, you can do whatever you want to do. If you want to, you can disable apps from unknown sources, which will basically turn your device back to how it was before this tutorial. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hit the like button if you did. Check out my website where I have tutorials on how to install Exodus, Velocity, Salz, and a few other more. Subscribe for more videos like this one, and I'll see you guys in the next video.